to the world of fantasy, romance, sci-fi, adventure, and more. It's time for the Author Hour, your guide to fantastic fiction, hosted by Matthew Peterson. It's a weekly visit with the masters of fiction as we meet with the top authors of today. Now, here's Matthew Peterson. I began writing the second Lord John story when I came back from a book tour to get back into my writing routine. And I was writing this with one hand and picking up the threads of my novel with the other. About six months later, I'd about finished the, uh, the short story, stopped in New York to have lunch with my two agents and was telling them what all I'd been doing. And I said, oh, and I've just about finished the second Lord John story. They said, well, that's great. How long's this one? And I said, well, I knew you'd ask. So I, said, <laughs> I said, it's about 85,000 words, and I need 85 more to finish it off. They looked at each other, and they looked at me, and they said, that's the size normal books are. <laughs> and I said, well, I thought it was a short story. And they said, well, it's not. <laughs> so they took it off and sold it to everyone. And all of the publishers, you know, in, in 20-odd countries, all said, well, this is great. They said, there's a Gabaldon book we weren't expecting. It is short. They were thrilled. I was interested. Tell us a little bit how you got started with The well, Princess Diaries. Well, that was funny because that's a book that I started writing really as a diary. I was keeping myself, and it really started because my mom started going out with one of my teachers. Uh-oh. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, I mean, it really was something that I started because it was a personal thing that I was upset about, and I just started writing it in my own voice. And actually, the character was 30 <laughs> at the time. <laughs> and I passed it around to some of my friends, and they're like, well, this would be a lot better if she wasn't 30, and maybe, you know, something else happens besides the fact that the girl's mom stayed her teacher. I was talking to several um, New York Times best-selling, award-winning authors recently, and they were talking about how they had, they didn't feel like they'd made it yet. And they're still waiting to feel like they'd made it. And I, oh. and I it sort of dawned on me that oh, you don't ever really feel secure. It's it's such a crazy business, and I think from the outside, people sometimes think, of, you know, we must be like, you know, pseudo celebrities or wealthy or it's totally secure what we do. Of course, we're not. We're just working people, writing each story the best story that we can, and and just trying to stay afloat in this crazy economy. She has the ability to just fight and kill uh, to an extraordinary degree. And she discovered it when she was about eight years old. Everyone knew she was a Graceling because she had the two different colored eyes. She was threatened by a distant cousin who was a little bit of a pervert and was kind of hitting on her in an appropriate manner. And she struck out to defend herself from him and accidentally killed him. <laughs> she killed him? Oh, yeah. man. She probably goes through boyfriends pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> not really the boyfriend type. She's really a lone wolf. 